A Fox News alert on U.S. military action in Yemen and a Pentagon warning about more to come. With an American warship firing cruise missiles and destroying three radar sites there, the strikes come after repeated missile attacks on U.S. Navy ships in the area. And they mark the first time the U.S. has become involved militarily in the civil war between the Houthis, a rebel group with loose ties to Iran, and the Yemeni government, such as it is. Connor Powell is following the story live from our Mideast Bureau in Jerusalem. Connor. Yeah, John, in the past, U.S. involvement in Yemen was limited to counterterrorism operations against al-Qaeda, though uh, last March, the U.S. began providing military and intelligence and air support to Saudi Arabia, which began to confront and to take on these Iranian-linked Houthi rebels in Yemen. But for the most part, the U.S. stayed out of the direct military operations there, though that is beginning to change after two missiles were fired at the USS Mason last week, uh, which was off the coast of Yemen, uh, according to Pentagon and defense officials, they concluded that those missiles came from a Houthi-controlled area along the coast. And so today, in retaliation, the U.S. Navy fired Tomahawk cruise missiles, destroying three Houthi, Houthi coastal radar sites. Now, the Pentagon saying these limited strikes were conducted to protect U.S. personnel and to ensure the freedom of navigation through an important maritime passageway. But it also comes as the U.S. is beginning to rethink its support for this Saudi-led war against the Houthi rebels. Saudi Arabia has been accused of targeting civilians, and it was just a week ago before the USS Mason came under attack that Saudi Arabia killed more than 140 people when it bombed a funeral home. So tensions are rising, John, in Yemen, and there is a lot of concern that the U.S. might get drawn into yet another conflict there. John? Let's hope not. Connor Powell, thank you.